Uh, I use Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Uh, those are the main ones. Uh, I use it to keep in contact with friends and I also use it uh, to like express myself almost because I post my art there and things. Uh, I use social media every day, um, in total probably like six hours a day. I think it's affected them because it's making them grow up too fast because they're being exposed to things that like they shouldn't see until they're like, I don't know, 15, 16. Not like super explicit things or anything, but just things maybe people not being so kind over the internet and things like that and like language used and things. They're seeing it younger than they should and um, they're quite easily influenced as well when they're that young and turn them into like maybe not very nice people. Uh, I think it's convenience because so many people now work on social media, make a living off social media and also people who even like work in offices and things, they are using social media to say promote themselves and things but also uh, to keep in contact with friends and family and things, it's just very convenient which I think is why so many people use it. Personally I don't think so because social media has brought a lot into the world like uh, Black Lives Matter, other movements, they've all started on social media about like uh, groups of young people just who are the main demographic of social media just come together and I don't feel like, I feel like social media has um, helped the world advance a lot even if it does have some cons. In today's society, wherever we look, there are always people on their phones and on social media not paying attention to anything else. The number of users has increased drastically since 2010, from 22 profiles being made to 77, with 49% of online activity being social media. Some teenagers can't get off their phones, which then causes disturbance in other areas of their life. For example, education, schooling, to exercise and mostly sleep. Around two out of three 11 to 20 year olds were getting less and less sleep than recommended. This addiction to social media that some teenagers have isn't all that uncommon. I have to admit that I'm guilty of being one of those people. So I wanted to see how hard it would be for me to go cold turkey and go without any social media for a week. I had deleted all of my social media apps off my phone. For the first day of not using any social media, it was very tough for me. I couldn't be able to message any of my friends and I started to feel like I was excluded from stuff and not being able to see the news as well as I see my news from Twitter. I wasn't able to keep up with anything. As it got to the middle of the week, I started to feel better with not using any social media. I didn't rely on it and I just spent my time doing other things as well that I didn't do when I had social media, like play my ukulele more and do more hobbies and going outside. This was good for my mental health and made me not rely on my phone as it got to the final day without any social media, I didn't really think that I needed it, but I downloaded stuff anyway. Out of all of this, I can say that it was very refreshing to go a week without any social media, and it made me more relaxed and less stressed out. From what I have gathered from looking into social media, I have seen that it has both a negative and positive impact on our society.